evaluated a drug called oxybutynin to treat hot flashes amongst women that were experiencing uh, hot flashes that were severe enough for them to want to take a medication. And this included women that uh, had a history of breast cancer or that were taking active treatment for breast cancer, such as tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors. And these women were uh, randomized to receive two different doses of oxybutynin versus a placebo. And um, there were a lower dose uh, a formulation of 2.5 milligrams twice daily and a higher dose of 5 milligrams twice daily. And what we found is that oxybutynin uh, significantly decreased the severity and the frequency of hot flashes um, in women that were taking the active drug compared to placebo. And uh, more important than the frequency and severity of hot flashes, uh, oxybutynin was also associated with improvement in several quality of life measures. So hot flashes, as we know, can interfere with several aspects of uh, a patient's life. Uh, hot flashes can interfere with their work activities, with their leisure activities, with social activities, sexuality, uh, and overall satisfaction with life. Uh, and we found that patients that were taking oxybutynin at either dose had an improvement in most of those uh, interference measures, uh, perhaps with the exception of uh, concentration and sexuality, but all the other measures were improved. So uh, we're very pleased that uh, we um, believe that with these results we have a, another option for patients, particularly considering that what's out there uh, currently includes mainly medications that either contain hormones, which are of course uh, a problem with breast cancer patients, they cannot really be exposed to those agents, or medications that belong to the class of antidepressants or anticonvulsants, which are uh, unfortunately associated with, with some taboo, and some patients may not want to take those medications uh, due to fear of being labeled as having a, a, a psychiatric uh, condition. Um, in addition to that, many of the uh, available therapies interfere with the uh, activity of tamoxifen, and oxybutynin does not have that particular issue, which uh, becomes an option for those patients that are actively taking tamoxifen as well. We did not do a subgroup analysis uh, specifically geared towards breast cancer survivors, uh, but uh, about two-thirds of our patients in the overall population were patients that were actively taking tamoxifen or an aromatase inhibitor for breast cancer. So they represent the majority of the population of this study. And uh, other studies have suggested that um, the difference in effect uh, of medications to treat hot flashes does not really depend on whether someone has breast cancer or not. It's really more related to the severity and frequency of the hot flashes. The women that would be uh, poor candidates, let's start with that, uh, are women that are taking other medications that could interfere or interact with oxybutynin. One of the major issues with oxybutynin is that it is an anticholinergic drug and uh, there are many other commonly used medications that also have that same type of activity and when used in combination they could lead to more significant side effects than what we saw in our study. We were very careful in not allowing in our study patients that were taking potent anticholinergic drugs and that's why I think we saw such a good result and, and safety signals. Um, I think that uh, patients that are uh, elderly and frail or have uh, already some issues with uh, memory or cognition to begin with are probably not the best candidates for this drug because this drug you know, and other anticholinergic drugs uh, can also worsen those baseline issues. Uh, so I think the ideal candidate would be, uh, you know, a, a young to middle-aged woman that, uh, you know, that has uh, breast cancer but doesn't have a lot of other comorbidities and that does not take a lot of other medications uh, that could interact with oxybutynin. Specifically in our study, uh, when compared with placebo, right, placebo uh, was able to decrease the hot flash scores by approximately 30%, which is what we see across studies. Uh, oxybutynin at the higher dose, at 5 milligrams twice daily, was able to decrease the hot flash score by about 80%, so a really profound effect. The lower dose was similar, around 65%. Um, and we see that when we uh, do uh, an analysis comparing this to other placebo-controlled studies, for example with venlafaxine, uh, with uh, citalopram, oxybutynin really has a, a more uh, significant effect than those agents, even though there hasn't been a head-to-head -head, uh, trial comparing oxybutynin against one of those active agents. But we see that with venlafaxine, uh, we typically see an effect of 40 to 50 percent, uh, and we're talking about an 80 percent benefit here. Having this data, we were using venlafaxin or Effexor and citalopram very frequently um, as those are very active agents and those are drugs, particularly venlafaxin, that doesn't interact with many other uh, of our therapies for breast cancer. Uh, we use citalopram in patients that were not taking 
uh, tamoxifen. They were taking aromatase inhibitors because there's an interaction there. So we were using those agents as our preferred uh, pharmacological interventions. But uh, with the results of this study, we have started to use oxybutynin much more frequently, uh, particularly in patients that don't have a contraindication to it or that we don't have a concern about medication interactions. Um, and that's uh, primarily because with venlafaxine, for example, we have some difficulty sometimes weaning patients off the medicine. It's a medication that you have to um, uh, taper off if you want to come off of it. You can't stop it suddenly, which is, of course, a limitation of using that medicine if people have side effects to it. Uh, oxybutynin, we can stop or start, you know, without uh, having to worry about that. Uh, so I think we're going to be seeing a lot more use of oxybutynin, and as we get more comfortable with the medication, using it over longer periods of time, um, you know, we, we may be seeing a shift in our practice.